Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. Today we are going to be creating a fruit juice design inside of Canva and trust me, this is really going to be interesting, fantastic, exclusive, super not supernatural but yes, before we get started, let's roll the intro. Okay, so here we are in Canva and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a design. So I click on create a design, come to um, which one should we go for? Okay, I'll go for a custom dimension like I always do. So I just click on the plus here and I choose 1080 by 1350. So I just click and it should open a new tab for me. If you do the same, I would also um, open a new tab for you also. Okay, so the thing is before we get started into this tutorial i just want you to know that every single element i'm going to use right in this tutorial is in the link in my description you can find it in my description okay so um, i placed all of that in the google drive so you just need to find the link and um, go into the google drive and get your element so that's what i want you to do before we get started okay so after you're done all you need to do is to import okay so um i have them here okay and i'm going to import all of them into canvas so i just want to do it for you to see that i'm also um i use the same process okay for importing and the reason is sometimes it can be weird i i feel weird sometimes when i think wow i see a beautiful design i get to think how was this done and i most of the time feel like you know whoever designed to use some extraordinary skills to do it but you realize that every step is almost the same step you know just that they were more creative and um yeah so i just want you to i don't know why i'm even saying this but i just hope it makes sense okay so i was just saying all of this for my design to uh for my element to you know be loaded quickly so i first of all add my drink okay since it's juice and um I hope you like juice because I know some people who do not like juice and I just don't understand why they don't like juice because I really love juice okay so um, I would want to change the color of my background but I want to use I want color to, um, I want Canva to pick you know colors from this orange for me so I click on my background and come to the color and um, yeah like I said Canva pick one color for me so yes I want to use this one okay so what I'm going to do now is to reduce the size of this one a little bit position it in the center okay so after I do that I would go into my element and I would go and pick a triangle but not the equilateral triangle I believe you know what I'm talking about okay so um I would just go here i think we just have to go with the equilateral triangle i believe okay then i can make you know the size bigger right click send to back okay duplicate it rotate it a little bit and um, position you know just have it somewhere here like this okay right click and send it also to the back then you can duplicate it again rotate it okay um 180 degrees position it you know it should be centered right click center back and do that for the last time so 90 negative 90 bring it here right click and send it to the back okay so now with these colors we come here and we change okay i can use another color for that. good so just trying to find the same colors uh, you know canva has given me so that everything we have would would sync if i'm using the right um, term okay so you can see i changed the color to this and um, just to save my time from now clicking this changing click change click change canva has this cute shortcut over here so i just click on it and it changes all of that for me so this is what we have at the moment okay so i come back into uploads and i click on the orange over here reduce the size and i can position it you know somewhere here okay maybe just um here then i can pick my clouds 
and uh, I would you know just sprinkle them around okay I'll just be sprinkling my cloud around just to give that kind of feeling okay and, and just to also give a random look I will be scaling them up using it you know while I duplicate so that's what I'm going to do so you can see yeah what I'm doing and I can reduce the size of this one and this and I can duplicate again and position here then I can add these ones that I have here okay just to add some flare you know just trying to be creative a little bit so the funny thing I've done right now is that all my clouds are <laughs> in front okay so I now have to send them backward okay so right click send to back right click send to back right click send to back right click send not backward but send to back right click send to back right click send to back right click send to the back uh, right click send to the back okay then with these shapes to right click send to send to the back and this one right click send to the back this one also right click send to the back so that we can have something interesting like this okay so i would select both shapes both using shift to select both and i'll increase the size more okay so this is what we have at the moment okay so what i'm going to do now is i'll add more clouds and this time around i would want to change um uh, you know the color of this cloud so i come into effect and um choose dual tone okay if you don't have it connected to your canva you see it you know as part of your apps or something like that so you just click on dual tone and connect it to canva very simple okay so i choose this and i come to the highlight and i change it to one of my cute colors okay then i just apply so we are just changing the highlights for the shadows i will just keep it to white okay so i can um choose white then apply okay and um, the reason is i just want to be sprinkling these ones around okay then i can even reduce the transparency also you get it yeah so i just be duplicating and be you know sending them around so with these um slices of oranges what i can do is i can reduce the size okay then position it somewhere here but i just want it to be very small and i would click on position send backward you know oh, now i use our slide is missing okay so now i make it appear here so you, you, i just hope you get the idea of what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to make it look like we have some of our juice you know like heavenly juice <laughs> you get it so i push it down and i click this one i also send it backward okay so you can see how it's looking here right now just make duplicate but it shouldn't be too many duplicates but some few duplicates and i bring this one here and i send it to the back okay then what you can even do is if uh, just to make it easier on your side you can just add a cloud and place it on top it's totally fine okay so we have a cloud and we place it here then with these orange ones you know i also sprinkle it here so that like i was saying heavenly juice and stuff like that then i bring some leaves just to also um sprinkle them on my design and be rotating just to randomize it wherever i add it i just you know something something cute for us to be able to end joy okay so this is what we have right now let me even duplicate this more and um Oh, duplicate more i just hope you're enjoying uh what we are doing so i'll add one more you know juice um not juice but a slice okay then i send it backward and hold this one okay 
position bring to front so with this um i would highly recommend you you know with a shortcut i think i should even make a video on um canva shortcuts you should you should know so that um it can really help you work faster in canva because when you know the shortcut okay you can really maneuver easily very very easily okay so um i think i should make a video on that so even with the so with the leaves what i'm going to do is i can make this leaf bigger come to um adjust okay and increase the blurriness so it gives this kind of depth of field when you're using a camera like the leaf is closer to the camera that's why it's looking um blur okay then when it's smaller it's looking sharp that kind of feel okay so i can duplicate this and reduce the blurriness okay and also reduce the size size a little bit and increase the blurriness you know, something small then i can duplicate again position it here make it smaller and also uh, make it sharper so i just make the blurriness zero so you see that kind of um thing so i can even put this one here and make it bigger you know so something like that nice so i hope you get what i'm doing so we are just going to add our text okay and um to do that maybe i should just move this one to the bottom a little bit these two so click hold shift and click then i bring this one to the bottom a little bit yeah so you can see it looks like we have our juice coming straight from heaven <laughs> yeah okay so now we are going to add some text so we can press t on the keyboard and um i'll just wait for add a heading now just type orange okay then position it here make it bigger okay so now you can send it backward a little bit so that we have this thing coming from this juice in our orange thing coming front okay then i can position it here change the color to maybe white okay then what i can also do is to change the font type to poppins p-o-p-p-i-n-s poppins okay and i select the poppins bold so you can see this how it looks and i also love the curves of this font a lot a lot <laughs> yeah so we have it here and uh, i can just duplicate okay and um, i just see orange fruit juice okay oh what am i juice is ju okay not jo not joyce so i changed this one to um a script thing so um there's a script i normally use called Brittany b r i t t Brittany. so we have it here and now what color can we use for Britney? we can use green since we have a lot of green on here okay so you can see since we've added so many uh elements in canva has generated a lot for us we can't see all the colors so i click on see all then i should see the greens okay and i can and i can add some greens over here i have orange not orange but orange fruit juice okay so this is what i have and then um, i can maybe say order now or i like, get yours now a call to action to get people uh, moving so i just add a circle reduce the size okay and i can position it somewhere here okay and i can make the text um let's say let me make a white for it to stand out and i can duplicate this and make it smaller and center it within this circle and change the color to okay, one of the colors we've used okay. so this is what we have right now it's not centered properly you can see i don't know okay it's good it's good now then i can um select my text duplicate it come here and say get um we order now order now and i can reduce the size click on this 
reduce this one come here and reduce it more okay so you can see what we are doing okay so yes this is what we have at the moment so i want to select all of them what i do is i press i select the first circle which is the white one okay no not the white not the first okay then i hold shift then select the second one then select the text and i can make it smaller and even group them to make it easier to move and i can position it here instead okay so this is what we have at the moment and i hope you really enjoyed but before you go i want us to put some text at the top i can just say original okay original because we want people to know that um what we have here is original so i change the color also to white come to the letter space name in pieces okay, so we have something like this position okay it's already in the center so this is what we have at the moment and i hope you enjoyed this so much yeah this is what we created in canva and i just hope you love this so much because i love it i love it i love it so so much the name is benjamin and if you love this video give it a like just to support it and just to get more people watching and um, if you want more canva tutorials like this you know what to do smash on the subscribe button and you can also hit the bell icon to get notified anytime i upload new videos there is no limit to creativity